Passiflora. Welcome to FAQ Nature's Garden Haven, your go-to source for all things gardening. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of Passiflora, commonly known as passion flowers, and explore some commonly asked questions about planting and caring for these exquisite vines. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting, this guide will provide valuable insights into cultivating these stunning plants. Stay tuned till the end for expert tips and advice. 1. What is Passiflora? Passiflora, commonly known as passionflower, is a genus of flowering plants native to the Americas, with over 500 species. 2. What are the different types of Passiflora? There are many types of Passiflora, including Passiflora incarnata, purple passionflower, Passiflora edulis, edible passion fruit, and Passiflora cerulea, blue passionflower, among others. 3. How do I plant Passiflora seeds? Passiflora seeds should be soaked in warm water for 24 hours before planting in a well-draining soil mix. Keep the soil consistently moist until germination occurs. 4. When is the best time to plant Passiflora? The best time to plant Passiflora is in the spring after the last frost has passed. This gives the plants a chance to establish before the heat of summer. 5. How much sunlight does Passiflora need? Passiflora plants thrive in full sun to partial shade. They require at least 6 hours of sunlight per day to flower and fruit. 6. How often should I water Passiflora? Passiflora plants prefer consistently moist soil. Water them deeply once or twice a week, depending on the weather and soil conditions. 7. Do Passiflora plants need support? Yes, Passiflora vines are climbers and require support to grow. You can use trellises, arbors, or fences for support. 8. How do I prune Passiflora? Prune Passiflora in late winter or early spring to control size and shape. Remove dead or damaged growth and prune back overly long branches. 9. Are Passiflora plants invasive? Some Passiflora species can be invasive in certain areas. It's important to check with local authorities before planting to ensure they are not invasive in your region. 10. Can Passiflora be grown in containers? Yes, Passiflora can be grown in containers, provided the container is large enough to accommodate the root system and has good drainage. 11. How do I propagate Passiflora? Passiflora can be propagated from seeds, cuttings, or layering. Seeds require scarification before planting to improve germination rates. 12. Do Passiflora plants attract pollinators? Yes, Passiflora flowers are attractive to bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds, making them excellent plants for attracting pollinators to your garden. 13. Are Passiflora plants resistant to pests and diseases? Passiflora plants are generally resistant to pests and diseases, but they can be susceptible to aphids, caterpillars, and fungal diseases in humid conditions. 14. How do I harvest Passiflora fruit? Passiflora fruit should be allowed to ripen on the vine. They can be harvested once they have turned from green to their respective colors, purple, yellow, etc., and are slightly soft to the touch. 15. Can Passiflora be grown indoors? Passiflora can be grown indoors in a sunny location. Provide support for the vines to climb and ensure adequate humidity levels. Passiflora, with its stunning flowers and delicious fruit, is a delightful addition to any garden. By following these tips and guidelines, you can enjoy the beauty and bounty of Passiflora in your own backyard. For more gardening tips and advice, visit our website GardenePlantingFlowers.com. Thanks for watching, and happy gardening!